Today we're going to be making sea berry oxymel, which is a very ancient way of preserving herbs and fruits. Um, we've got our harvested sea berries in here. And an oxymel is basically taking whatever it is you're working with, um, mixing it with honey and a vinegar. Uh, this helps preserve it and enhance the medicinal qualities. So first thing we're going to do is add our sea berries to a blender here. This will help juice them up. A lot of people are interested in the sea berries but are kind of unsure as to what to do with them or the best way to, to use the harvest. I like to do the oxymel because it seems to make the sea berries last through the winter when you're kind of looking for that, uh, Ben Falk calls it liquid sunshine on some of the darkest days. So we fill up our blender. We're gonna add some honey, some local honey here. Probably about a cup or so for this amount of sea berries. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then we'll add some apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother. And again, probably about a cup, maybe, maybe closer to two. I like to go a little bit heavier on the vinegar. All right. Now we turn on the blender. And what's nice about this is we do it for about 45 seconds or so and it helps get the seed coats all the way off the seeds, which we'll save as well. So here we go. So now we've uh, got our blended sea berries here. And the next step is to strain them. You can use like a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag. I've just got a sieve. It seems to be working fine for me. And it's just kind of a process of filling it up. You can come a little closer. Have a look at this. And as the, uh, the juice is running through, I just kind of like to take a spoon kind of help the process, keep it flowing until all the juice kind of runs out. I'm gonna take a look at the, what's in the pot there. Nice foamy orange. Now, interesting thing about the sea berry, unlike most fruits, it has a very high oil content to it. Uh, very good and nutritious for you. Um, one of the few fruits that I know of that has some rich in omega oils. And the juice I'm talking about, not, not necessarily the seeds. So once you've got all your liquid strained out, to your satisfaction. I'm gonna set the seeds aside with the pulp. You know, at the end, I'll separate the seeds from the pulp and save a bunch of seeds that way. You literally get you know, thousands and thousands of seeds to start your own berry plants. So after this, it's just kind of a process of repeat. You can pour it into your jars should last quite a while in the fridge, or you can do it into pint glasses, pint jars, and freeze them too. Take them out when you're ready to use them. I like to use them throughout the winter, maybe a spoonful a day, especially a tablespoonful when you're feeling sick. All right, thanks for watching.